Vintage Cube Draft here with Simon. I feel like this is a good pack to f kind of test an archetype, which is Underworld Bridge plus Brain Fli Freeze plus Lion's Eye Diamond. Also, Underworld Bridge can work if you get something like Time Walk and you want to uh, cast two Time Walks in the same turn if you can, then win from there. But it's also Grim Monolith, pretty powerful, and Tundra is a fine pick as well. But I kind of feel like forcing. So what you want now is Linus Eye Diamond and Brain Freeze. And of course since you want Brain Freeze you want to be blue. Here is Channel, a very good card. But doesn't work so well with Underworld Bridge. It would have to be like three colors. I think Remand is a nice card. It also works with Brain Freeze sometimes if you end up in a Storm deck. Because you can Cast Brain Freeze, put Storm on the stack, and then remand Brain Freeze and do it again. You end up with a lot of Storm. Would be nice to wield Scalding Tarn, but maybe I can also end up in some Blue Red Storm. I haven't done that in a while. And therefore, I'm gonna take Volcanic Island to make my mana great. There's also Gush, which is a card that can be good in some Storm decks. Also, Chrome Mox, but I think these cards are kind of weak anyway. And I prefer Volcanic over Raw Green Triumph, while this has Cycling and is a Plains. Coming into play tapped is a big deal. And I don't think I'm gonna wheel Volcanic, but I might wheel either Chromox or Gush, probably Gush. And so far I haven't really seen any of the cards. Here is Ragaman, incredibly powerful. Or Trollarian Academy if I end up with a lot of artifacts, but I might just take Ragaman and it's possible I abandon Breach or end up in red uh, blue spells again. With like Young Pyromancer, Dragon's Rage Chandler, Skull Clamp, Cantrips. And you can also sometimes even play Breach plus Brain Fist plus Lions of Diamond in this deck anyway. So we'll see. Alright, so now there is Time Warp. The card is pretty good with Ragaman. A little too expensive with Breach. You're only going to be able to cast Time Walk once, and you have to have 7 mana, so it's not particularly great with um, Unwell Breach. Although, if you end up with an absurd amount of mana, it can be good. It's either Time Warp or Shark Typhoon. I think both cards are about the same power level, but Time Warp has more potential. Maybe I end up with some Planeswalkers like Yaze, Splashed Oak, or Deck fade in. So I'm gonna take time warp just for the potential. And here I am going to take first for discovery over Kaito Shizuki because I doesn't look like I'm gonna be blue black. There is also animate deads, and I also saw reanimate, so it looks like maybe reanimate is open, but it's a little too late for it. First discovery is a nice card and it's a spell. Fast work is always interesting when you're trying to end up with a brain freeze deck because you can win the game if you mill yourself. So you can put a pretty nice backup plan if your opponent is on an Eldrazi. Also sometimes it's easier to mill out yourself because you can have a lot of card draw and you might not be able to brain freeze your opponent but you might be able to brain freeze yourself and cause first a circle. I'm gonna take it here. I'm giving up a plateau basically. Alright, Wooded Foot Tilts fetches me a Volcanic, so not bad. Let's see if I wheel something. Oh, there's Tundra and Arcane Proxy. Arcane Proxy can sometimes work with Brain Freeze if you end up with uh, a lot of mana. Tundra is an option too, but I'm not sure exactly what kind of white card I want to play. I think I'm going to take Arcane Proxy as to say speculative pick. Take Recruiter. You never know. Maybe I end up with Twin. Sacred Fauna. It's basically like a plateau except a little worse. I think Missy Morris could be good if I end up in the more spell heavy version with Rank Pyromancer and stuff. So the nice card about thing about Breach, Lions of Diamond, Brain Freeze is that they don't take up that many slots. You wanna have some mana producers, but you don't need to be an all in storm deck. You can sometimes play Trinket Mage to go get Lions of Diamond. You can play Recruiter to get Trinket Mage as well. 
So you can just play a bunch of blue and red fair cards and then have the combo as a backup option. All right, take Sunning Titan. You never know if you're gonna end up in some Goblin Welder deck. Though I doubt it. So, maybe someone took Brain Freeze or Lions of Diamond, but more likely they haven't been opened yet because I mean, it's possible someone is Storm right next to me on the left, but... What are you gonna do? Um, love to get Ancestral or Time Walk. Obviously fantastic cards, but especially in a deck like this. We want to end up with spells anyway. I don't like this pack too much. I don't really see any fantastic cards. Hellred is a card you can sometimes play if you end up with young paramans and love tokens. Tropical. The thing is, Wooded Fortress already had, gives me Volcanic. I just end up taking this Thieving Skydiver. It's a fine card, and if I end up with Skull Clamp, it's decent. But I'm not happy about it. Pick first picking such a weak card. Time work not looking good so far. Maybe I can get seven mana and <laughs> flashback it. But um, right now the annual breach doesn't do much of anything. Um, like flashback and missing more for four mana. It's not exactly what you want to do. I mean, four mana, I mean, two mana for breach plus mortars, or two mana and three mana for that. That's just too weak, generally speaking. What's not weak is mana drain, though. Pretty nice card, also makes Arcane Prox a little bit better. Not because you want to flashback mana drain, but you can uh, get up to seven mana, maybe. Flashback time warp instead. Also makes time warp a little bit better, because it's something you can use to free generic mana. I'd like to wheel either of these two red cards, but I'll sell for miscalc. Matter is very nice also if you're trying to get some storm going because you're gonna get a lot of colorless mana, which you can maybe use to do stuff like help with breach, then the colorless can be used one for the breach itself and um, the other for the cards you want to flash back here. Okay, Kiki Yiki. I don't have Deceiver or Pestermite. More mana fixing in either Ketio Tribe and Prismatic Vista. There's also Shane Lightning or Echo of Eons. It's uh, not terrible, but I don't know. I think I want like Narset for that. Yeah. Maybe I do take Kiki Kiki. All it takes is like any twin piece. And yeah, okay. Alright, so we have Retrofitter Foundry, Bribery, or Beaumont Courier. Beaumont Courier could be okay in this deck because I have pretty a lot of cheap cards. Also Bribery is just generically pretty powerful. I think I can take Bribery because that also works pretty nice with Mana Drain. You can maybe. Moment Curry sometimes wheels. Haven't seen either Lion's Eye or Brain Freeze, so. I don't know what I took this over. I took this over Grim Monolith, which would have been okay, I guess. I think that Grim Monolith was the second best card in that pack. Okay, Tendrils, that is not Brain Freeze. <laughs> Emrakul, which right now doesn't do anything. Riftwing Cloudscape. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna be a traditional Storm deck here. I might not be a Storm at all, so I don't think Tendrils is particularly an interesting card here. Also, how do I get Black Mana right now? Not have anything. And Emrakul also doesn't work right now, so I think Riftwing is an okay card. Another creature to put pressure on my opponent. 
card I can get with Imperial Recruiter. One reason also why I took Kiki is because I had Imperial Recruiter, so, so that uh, this card gives me the combo by itself, as I've mentioned in some other videos. Uh, this gives me the uh, Kiki, and a Kiki can copy Imperial Recruiter and gets me Pestamite or Deceiver. I guess I'll take Lenalendra. Yeah, no one of his door. I think also I passed the Tespian stage. Baral doesn't look great. I think I might try to light up the stage here. I got some cheap cards. Looks like it could be okay. Plain Swamp Forest or Bloodthirsty Adversary. Yeah, I guess. Take the address, so put it in my sideboard though. Uh, maybe if I end up with some young PC. I mean, I'm not gonna play the sword either, so. Oh, I, I will either Abbott or Berg. I think that Berg is a little better. Just pretty powerful when you wanna go off with Breach too. Just because Breach adds one red for Bergy and then the flashback card, so it gives you a lot of potential with Bergy. Grip Mine is gone, so Crucible doesn't do anything right here. Take a Academy Ruins, although. <laughs> yeah. Alright, still no Lion's Eye Diamond or Brain Freeze. <laughs> All right, I'll take ten rules, I guess. I guess Krog plus Brain Freeze, but bad, I think, though. Because Krog plus Mana is a Nambo, also um, Ramon. All right, still not in here. Steam Vents, Treasure Cruise, and Young Pyromancer. Pyromancer looks decent here. Do I want Pyromancer, Treasure Cruise, or Steam Vents? Steam Vents is less important here, I think, because I already have Volcanic Ambush. I could always use more, but uh, I think Young Pyromancer is going to be good here. Also makes Time Warp a little bit better if you end up with a couple of tokens in play, then Time Warp gives you a token also. Yeah, this is not a good deck, I don't think, so far. <laughs> Time Spiral. But there are better options here. There is the Seaver Exarch. Or Layla. If the Seaver Exarch wasn't here, I'm going to take Layla. But now I have the Twin Combo as well. Or I only have the Twin Combo, I should say. Huh, so, Shell Dock. This is not looking like a fantastic Shell Dock Isle deck. Uh, if I'm not taking Shell Dock, what else am I taking? Like Fire Islet. I got to light up the stage to clear cards from my top of my deck. All right, fine. I'll take Shell Dock. Oh, Lion Side Diamond. Awesome. So all I need now is Brain Freeze. If I don't end up with Brain Freeze, I might play Tendrils, but it's a little harder to do that. Uh, because you actually have to spend an extra mana every time you cast uh, 10 reservoirs with Brain Freeze and Lion's Eye Diamond. It feeds itself as long as you can keep having enough cards. But yeah, so now all I lack is Brain Freeze. But there's Pestermite, so <laughs> this is going to be a hybrid deck for sure. So I got three more cards after this to see Brain Freeze. And as long as Brain Freeze is open, I should probably get it because I ha no one took Tendrils. No one seems to be interested in Mana Flare either. Repeal is fine, but a little weak. Could just take Unlicensed Hurst for the Cyber against a Reanimator deck. I think that is better than a random Repeal card I, I don't like anyway. Two more. Okay, so after this I have one more shot to get um, Brain Freeze. 
So the trinket mage does give me lion's eye. Positive damage is the worst version of breach. Maybe I'll take is it thing that helps with the mana. Come on, Braven Freeze. 25 plus 12, so it's one more chance to get it. Of course, if I don't get Brain Freeze, there is not much point in playing Tosses or Collider. Oh crap, I didn't get it. Okay, well, get Ponder is fine. Alright, so now what? Uh, reach. So the problem is, if you want to go Lions of Diamond plus 10 drills, you can sack Lions of Diamond for uh, black, 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 cost 10 drills from your graveyard. And then you can cost Lions of Diamond, but the problem is it's going to be an extra man every time. This Oracle is gone, so. Hmm. Oh, Steven's very surprising that goes so late. Well, I'll take it. Nice to make your mana better. Sure. Hmm. So, let's say I cast Breach, Lion's Eye Diamond in the same turn. I guess I could take High Tide. I'm not gonna play Inferno Tide, probably. So I'm thinking, so Underworld Bridge plus Lions of Diamond, that is two spells. If I have uh, four more mana, I can then ten drills. I can cast Lions of Diamond, but then I don't, so I would need seven mana. So instead, if I cast Breach, let's say I have three lands left, cast Lions of Diamond, crack it, then I have six. And I can cast Tendrils, have two mana left, cast Lions of Diamond. I mean, I would need a lot of cards in my graveyard, but yeah, maybe maybe I'm gonna do that. It's, it's a little janky, we'll see here. If it's good, I think to help a little bit, I could play Creeping Tar Pit. It's just one black mana, but so maybe it's not really good, but the problem is, no, I think this is fine. I could also play Ignite Memories over Tenders because the mana situation is better, but it still costs five, so it still is bad. <laughs> yeah. So do I want to play High Tide? I don't think so. Maybe it's better than Riftwing. Because I have Volcanic plus Steam, and that is two additional islands. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a little bit of an experiment, but we'll see how it does. Right. So however, I'm probably not gonna play the Signet on turn two. Uh oh, library. That's a little bit of a problem. My deck is not super well set up to deal with that. I'm gonna go over the footers and fetch a steam vents here though. So I was gonna draw a lot of extra cards, but it's gonna cost a little bit of mana. In the sense that you have to tap library for mana. So it's not a great start, but uh, oh, we can still win this game. So I said I wasn't gonna cast Isis Signet, but the library sort of makes me want to do that. And the reason is that my opponent's probably gonna spend the next turn drawing an extra card with library. So if 
for this less likely to play something. And I just drew time walk, which means I can now spend my extra mana. Okay, that's a card I might have wanted to counter, but I can hopefully counter what comes after that. So I'm gonna pass here and I have Thieving Skylar, so I can maybe steal something. Let's have my one plus two artifact this turn. One of them I counter, and maybe I can steal the other with the help of the mana from Mandra. What reveals Mind Slaver and Gruel Signet? Okay. Alright. So. Uh, Ponce has two mana left, so can't cast Mind Slaver this turn. I'm gonna um, mana drain that because right now I can't deal with M. Can't deal with Emery. And I can remove Mind Slaver, and now I have mana to. Okay. I'm gonna run that as well. It's just too annoying. Now I can feeling skydiver the metal worker. And that should keep my opponent. Well, not exactly, but so I have eight mana. So I can uh, time warp or I can cast feeling skydiver and steal metal worker. But uh, I can't use Lion Side Diamond to no, uh, uh, pay the. No, I can't use it with Feeding Skyder. Never mind. Here's my problem. Stealing the Metal Worker or the Gruel Signet doesn't really stop my opponent from casting Mind Slaver next turn, presuming my opponent has a land. So. But it does add a lot of extra mana. But time warp also doesn't do much. All right. Um, yeah, I guess. Two, three, and still the metal work. <laughs> Soul Ring as well. Alright, maybe I wanted to steal that. But... Rift Wing again. Oh, yeah, I can bounce Metal Mark. I didn't think about that. It's not a disaster, but I should have probably thought about that. Alright, might as well. I think I'm gonna attack because I kind of want cards in my graveyard for Underworld Breach if I draw it. But. Uh... Things are not looking good. So I warp. All right. <laughs> well, not sure that we could draw here. Maybe if I draw breach into tendrils. But um, my opponent's going to be able to mind slow me pretty soon. Uh, I think I'm done here because Mind Slaver also kind of wrecks me. I have only lands. Could this be a matchup where Ignite Memories is good because my opponent had Mind Slaver? <laughs> Maybe it's better than Tendrils. Sure, let's try it. <laughs> this is fun. Sure, sure, sure. I think I'm going to ponder over Shellock to find a red source. It gives me PC into light up the stage. And I have Breach, so I have one third of the combo. I also have the Twin combo, although no red mana as of yet. But I'm gonna 
try and find that. No red source, an island, Bergen time warp. I'm gonna ship this because while <laughs> ignite members, while I wanted a land, I specifically wanted a red land because not a blue land doesn't do much for me. So my opponent's pretty heavy on artifacts with the top and uh, and the metal burger. And <laughs> there's all my red now. Oh well. So I'm not gonna be able to steal top. If my opponent doesn't F6, but I probably that's a little bit scummy to do that, I think. Alright, well, this first run looking to be short. I don't think playing a 2 1 flyer here is it's just not gonna get the job done. Yes, if I find a red source, I could then light up the stage for one minute cheaper, but I could already do other stuff like cost young pyromans. Yeah, my opponent is super heavy on artifacts. Alright, mana drain isn't the absolute worst. Let's get rid of Ignite Memory. <laughs> uh, and uh, because if I, f if I found Lion's Eye, the fact that Ignite Memory is, I can still flashback. First time I put that in my deck, in the Vintage Cube. To be fair, it's the first time it's been in the Vintage Cube. Yep, gonna have to mana drain that, and I have six mana next turn. If I find red, it's gonna be not a great turn, but at least I can steal the red scene. That helps a little bit. No, nope, no red, but so the question is, do I want to cause a free deceiver here? Because I have seven mana, if you're scared of a stealing a thing that costs four, so I could cost Deceiver on top of land, but does that really do much for me? I don't think so. So let's kick this for two. Don't worry, I'm not gonna steal the top. <laughs> I want another red source. So, or another, my first red source. <laughs> yeah. If you can't get red sources any other way, you gotta steal. It's gonna be a rift in getting back to scene. It could be. Yeah, alright, that's annoying. Ah, okay. Well, I had the high tape wasn't doing much anyway. <laughs> of course, my opponent didn't know that. Okay. So now I have red. The, the thing is. So yeah, I think I'm going to lead with Sheldock. Finally Sheldock helps me get one card deeper. Gonna be Lion's Eye for sure. Oh, took time warp. Oh, oops. Oh well. So now... I'm a little scared of Mind Slaver, but... I think I lead with attacking and see if Bone wants to trade. Okay. So now I call in my grave of a breach. Then I'm gonna cast Young Pyromancer. But yeah, I meant to put Lion's Eye under Sheldock. That was a misclick. Here's the top again. There's Mind Slaver, but can't activate it right now. Ragon, huh? Alright, so... Well, let's start by attacking. 
Maybe I can find a mount that would light up the stage. That's better than dashing Ragavan. Right now, Mapon can't even hurt me that badly with Mind Slaver. Bribery and Burgi. <laughs> okay. Can't cost any of those. And Deceiver doesn't do anything. Down to 22 cards. I think I should first for discovery here. I'm gonna discard mortars and uh, because that hurts me. And uh, Ramon, I think. Here's my. Here's a funny thing. I'm not sure my opponent's gonna be able to. Well, so my opponent's gonna be able to. See, I'm not sure my opponent's gonna be able to see the time under the shell though. But if my opponent does, my opponent can give himself an extra turn. But, but if I had Lion Saw Diamond, it might have been even worse. Okay, well, so go nuts, I guess. So the worst thing my opponent could do here is to uh, shell duct, give my opponent an extra turn, and waste my underworld breach. I guess also escape. The funny thing is, if my opponent escapes killing my young paramus, I still get a token, so <laughs> it's not even that bad. And I guess an Ignite Memories in me doesn't do anything. Okay. Draw three, discard. So Mount can discard two of my best cards, but Ragavan and Petstermite, okay. Causing a ponder. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of good for me. <laughs> yeah, my opponent gets a mess with my top three cards, but I get a one one. I'm still going to draw a card. So I'm getting a free card here. So I'm pretty sure my opponent couldn't see the time warp because otherwise my opponent could have cast time warp targeting himself. But... Alright, that wasn't so bad, honestly. Yeah, I lost some cards, but I still have. Time warp on the shell dog. I have Ragavan, I have Glenn, so. Uh oh. Nine mana. This upheaval. Ah, okay. Well, that is pretty bad for me. That, on the other hand, is bad. <laughs> yeah, alright. But I still get to cast a shell dog. Or Ragavan. Probably. Honestly, rag, I went into young PC seems pretty good here. Okay, my opponent has a lot of signets, but I don't think my opponent has much in hand. There's Steven, say, I think. I could cost Sheldock here. Or Ragavan. I think Ragavan has. Because the reason is I can still. Shall look in a couple of turns, and what if I don't hit anything exceptional? So the shell is still going to be on the table in a couple of turns, and Ragman is arguably pretty powerful here, unless my opponent found something. Because my opponent's probably got some powerful cards in the deck. Oh, the library is cute with that people. Get to draw a card here. Very cute. Hopefully Mind Slave is not going to come back soon. 
hopp. Metalwork. Alright. I think I am fine trading for that if my opponent wants it, because that is a very scary card. And then here it's less clear what I'm gonna play. I think it's PC still. What are some of the better cards I could draw? I'm not sure because Breach is gone, so the cards in my grave are also gone. A lot of signals. Now I can't tap for any man. Not that it matters now. Okay, so do I still have any twin pieces left? Seer is gone, Pestamite is gone, so no. Dude, I kinda wish I had fastest oracle in my deck now. <laughs> but uh, there's Kiki Jiki. I can soft lock my opponent out with Glenn, I suppose, but this library's been very good. It didn't look like it when my opponent had two cards left, but then upheaval happened, so... No. New Battle Spiral, that stabilizes the ground pretty good. Also puts me under pressure. Under pressure. Alright, now it's time for Shell Lock, I think. Okay, Proxy. That is a card. So that could... Uh, Maybe set up some uh, Ignite memory section. I don't know what else I could do, but... That plus... Really? Thought you were gonna... I think blocking one of those is fine. So, Arcane Proxy is two mana with Shell Dock. So, I could cost Glenn and then Arcane Proxy Ignite Memories for free. Or not. Well, the storm's still gonna happen, but. It gets a counter one copy, I guess. Lion's Eye. This is getting interesting now. Start by Lion, so I see what my opponent says about that. Opponent doesn't have a problem with it. And our game proxy says when you cast it, not cast from hand. So, I guess. Cast Glen. Yeah, I mean, Arcane proxying anything other than that members, I don't see how that wins me the game. Right? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Do this. Oh, fuck. I cast it with pro all the time. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Can I undo? Oh crap. Oh well. I wanted to. Oh my god. 
Oh well. Still not clear how to won this game. Won't allow it to. Alright. Well. Here we are. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Soldering. It's very possible I wouldn't have won the game anyway because opponent may not have even have had that many expensive cars. The problem is Kikiyiki plus Arcane Proxy means like it, it doesn't cost it so I can't really uh, get there. Okay, I'm not gonna s discard my hand count that. Although it is lethal next turn, but how do I win if I count that? Okay. Guess I jump. <laughs> Yep. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, this was I didn't have a high ops for this deck and it's kinda of delivered.